True, true, true. What's up, y'all? Uh, y'all know I couldn't stay away for too long. But today, I mean, well, it's early in the morning, about 2 a.m., so, yeah. I guess me taking a couple of days off didn't work out too good. I left a community post talking about it take two days off. Everybody need rest, damn it. But might as well do another one of these late night things. Uh, like I told y'all, the George Floyd, I'm gonna have to keep telling y'all, but I know y'all already know. Shit about to come down to the 29th. That's like 12 days, I think. Yeah, so y'all get ready with that. Get ready for that because that that uh, verdict is gonna either be justice or be devastation. So watch y'all back, y'all stay true. Now, as y'all can see up on the screen, it says my YouTube watch later list was too big. Let's talk. Well, that's been there since the last time we did something like this. So let's do it again. Uh. It's the funny thing about this thing called pimping, right? <laughs> like a bar don't say, it has been misunderstood from the beginning. <laughs> nah, this shit ain't, I understand this shit very well. Because uh, I don't play that shit. I don't play that motherfucking manipulation of no females for your personal benefit, egg. personal benefit. First of all, let me tell y'all what I, let me tell y'all what a pimp is to me. A broke ass nigga. He a broke ass nigga without his hoes. Broke ass nigga away from I don't need I don't stand next to no broke ass nigga that sell that make money off women selling their bodies. I don't care. Some of them be running and asking for this shit. But something fucked up, something happened in her life too, but uh otherwise this nigga just like a predator. All motherfuckers, they call themselves pimps. She ain't did shit for the village. Y'all ain't do nothing for the for the village, man. Man up. See, it's hard for a nigga to... It's hard for another man to even call you a man. You know what I mean? Pimp just, he just want to get a hustle if that's the best you can do. But do not be calling yourself walking around. Nigga, you hard on women. A nigga will beat your motherfucking ass and you know it. Fuck you talking about, pimp. All for you, huh? So I'm gonna just take a little brief look at this this dude. I ain't gonna call that nigga no fucking pen. Well, they like one of his bitches or something. They not even one of his bitches. They belong to the village, nigga. For the, for the kids, a pimp image. Might not kill the guy. Gotta do something, man. I know this ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in the world, but shit, these motherfuckers out here too, like, like the rapists and the predators. They like all of them in one. So let me just pull this shit up, man. What's up? What's up? Now what the fuck am I doing? Wait over here. Got my put myself right up here. I think that's a good little fit right there. All right, let's check out this dude right here, man. He said he uh yeah that's what he say. <laughs> What's up now? Um, bitch, you don't know how to motherfucker. Come here, get the fuck out with you, man. You're waving, but you're standing there smiling, ho. What you mean? You just wanted to what, bitch? When you see me, ho, you get the fuck out of you. Acknowledge me. You understand that? I don't told your motherfucking ass about that type of shit anyways, didn't I? You know what? I tell you what. This is what you're going to do. You're going to go back there and get that great motherfucking car back there, ho. That's what you're going to do. Right motherfucker now. Right now, what the fuck you going back to that car for? Just shit and get in that motherfucking great car. Now. Motherfucking bitch. Motherfucking hoe out of pocket. I told that motherfucking hoe, goddamn it, she don't sit there and, 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 and look at me and wave at me. Motherfucking hoe, acknowledge me. The Bachelor is oh, hold back. On, man. I know Stream it live bug. on ABC yeah, with YouTube that bug, TV. Oh, that bug, bug. Man, I got to watch two of these. I'm out of time.
What y'all think about that, bro? I mean, obviously it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be men. And what the fuck? It'd be men uh in the same motherfucking neighborhood that this shit be happening at, just standing around. I guess I guess how can that happen? I guess they got to be the, what they call the tricks, right? But damn, every motherfucking man in the in the neighborhood, I know. You can't tell no another man what to do, but we ain't talking about no another man. We talking about your queens being handled like that. Yeah, everybody gonna have to take their charge. If you ain't, if you ain't, uh, couldn't happen next to me, and I don't give a fuck what niggas say. I probably be, well, you know, I got finesse though, so at least he gonna hear it. I might, it might not stop, but fuck it. Everybody gotta do something. Never know what might help. Might help the female get the fuck away. But at the same time, we got to provide a way to escape. All this shit come from being molested, abused, and, and that, that shit run rampant in the black families. You know what I'm saying? The upbringing like you do. We don't even know how high the number is for little girls, mostly, mostly. That's being molested by a family member. Hold it in. And uh, for... She hold it in. But psychologically, it messes you up. But let me continue, man, because this is a deep ass subject, but um, true. Man, every time I come back, I move. Oh, this the game in one play. Somebody open up the goddamn door. Open up the fucking door. <laughs> man, that nigga talking about. You see how you see how this nigga all in his fucking mind and shit. That nigga talking about low as hell, right? Somebody open the door. Now nah, he can talk to somebody in the inner house, in the house behind the goddamn the damn door lock with the door closed. So somebody open the door. Bitch, can't nobody hear you. of his program is you say yes and no you call him daddy at all times you walk behind him and you know open doors and stuff for him wait for him to get out the car before you get out the car and um you don't look at no players no niggas whatsoever you have to respect him at all times because he puts his holes on pedestals you know what i'm saying so he treats us like queen so we got to treat him like a king never show no weakness to no hoe never lie you know, always keep it real. Never, don't steal. You know, I'm telling you from my mistakes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, always keep it real. You know? Because he don't lie. He don't cheat. He give it to you in the world. Right. Mm -hmm. With everything. Right. And if you have a problem with anything, you best believe he can solve it for you. Because every problem I had, family, health, whatever, it was solved. You know what I'm saying? So, it ain't nothing... You know how people say shit's not, you know, it's impossible? It's no such thing with him. <laughs> Isn't it, Kay? He, he, he solves every problem. It's, it's, I mean, as far as everything else, you just got to give him the utmost respect and listen. You know what I'm saying? Because he's no joke. He's for real. He lives this shit. You know what I'm saying? He don't sell no dope. He don't do shit. He sell pussy. That's what the... There you go right there. That's the fuck I'm talking about. I mean, you know, we all gonna disagree, but that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. Now, hold up. Yeah, now, uh, obviously, these are other fe other females promoting this 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 dude. Now, how you gonna promote? How you gonna say he don't sell no dude? 
He don't do he don't have no job. He don't do nothing else. He just say a pussy. Who? Y'all pussy? And you bring him the money back. Far away from home. That's why he can he can have an advance to do that. Y'all far away from home. But what kind of promotion is that? And she's sitting up there trying to figure it out. Um Yeah, if I just can't say I just can't so they must have gave up on, on on having a real man, but at the same time they talking about uh he faithful. I know he faithful to all to th all three of y'all. <laughs> he faithful. Huh? Boy, this shit crazy. There you go, man. This ain't one doing that the first time. But he said everything he got smell like pussy. Yeah, I don't know that But when you get in the trick car, you know, you always look in a back seat, in a, in a van, whatever, see how many people only get in the car with one trick. Mm -hmm. You know, unless one of your wife in laws out there, if it's two men in the car, then you come to me. Okay, mm -hmm. woo woo woo, I got a date, you know. You know, keep your doors unlocked at all times. Watch where that man's hand is at all times. Where she put her money at. Right. <laughs> don't never let a trick see where you put your money at you know if, if you got to hold it in your hand tight <laughs> you know most of the time on the track you can only have a certain amount of money on you you know when you get popped by the police so you know you you make three four honey you know you stuff it in a counter put it up your pussy you know you supposed to do that anyway so you know just stuff your money up your pussy shit You better listen to me and listen to me good. You call more shots. I got us now. <sighs> Let me uh mute this shit, man. Found you know copyright. Tell me, I'm gonna leave that bitch up anyway though. So wait till I think I see somebody talking or something. But yeah, I don't know what y'all think about that. But uh, I'm I'm gonna break this motherfucker down and, uh, into. Uh, couple of parts though because I can't sit here and stomach this shit all in one episode I mean in one I think somebody talking y'all let me see but we moved to the next state if we would have stayed there that for a week we would have got that shit <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, because all the clients was like, you guys got beautiful, you know, chest, you know, why don't you get a piercing, you know, that, yeah, I'm like, okay, really, wow, that's the hurt, I don't know, but I saw this girl get her shit down on TV, uh -huh. get the point on that man yeah I'm watching no damn I don't even go to the strip club went to the strip club uh when I was 21 years old my 21st birthday never went back again in my life <laughs> all right man let's see get into some uh some other shit all right don't know what the fuck I don't know as it, as usual when this watch later is it just late night uh Let's just watch a couple of, let's just watch a couple of damn, what they call shootings or whatnot, robberies, uh, abductions, and all the things that's happening around us. Check it out. Become a medical laboratory scientist. Search Bellarmine Hybrid MLS and enroll today. Imad Saleh was here last night. He says those gunmen then sped up the street to get to Miner's girlfriend, who was in another car. No. With First look at security camera video of a shooting at a gas station in River Rouge. You can see three people get out of a car, walk over to another, and start shooting. 
Defender Sean Lay is live with a closer look at that video and the hunt for the shooters. Sean. Kimberly, let's give everyone a close look at the video and pay attention to the weapons these guys had in their hands. Standing right here, firing at their target right here. You can see the power of those shots. This is the gas station owner's SUV ripping right through the SUV. You can only imagine how these shots went ripped through the victim. Security cameras capturing it all at the gas station on Visitor in River Rouge at 6 last night. Three gunmen jumped out of a silver Chrysler 300 and opened fire on the driver of that silver Saturn. That car coming to a stop at the funeral home across the street. The driver tonight is dead. His family identifying him as Alex Miner of River Rouge. His cousin telling us the deadly violence is outrageous. See what I got on? You see my eyes? I'm hurting. I can't even sleep. That's not all. Gas station owner Imad Saleh was here last night. He says those gunmen then sped up the street to get to Miner's girlfriend, who was in another car with kids in it. Up the street, they say his car. Got, his girlfriend car. Got, uh, I heard he got shot up the street. That's what I heard. I don't know. With kids in it. She, they got the kids with her, yeah, but they, they, they're okay. She is expected to survive. The kids, we are told, are okay. Back at the gas station, even the owner's new SUV was shot. All right, don't nobody want to hear about that. All right, child. Uh, damn, I got a deal like that. I ain't know about that. Let me see, it's a theater probably. Okay, let me see what this is. All right. That is just one. Uh, now y'all used to that. I'm trying to see. Man, I had a whole system, man. <sighs> I don't know what I did. I did. I think this right. Okay, let's see. What up? Very scary. I think. They let's see. No, that ain't it. Okay, now. I forgot how I did that where I can see the title. But I don't know. All right, this is like a damn, uh... Now, it's one of my worlds. It's one of my dumb criminals right here. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining. It's one of my dumb criminals right here. They, they gone. Now, ain't not, it ain't never funny when you... Yeah, because it could have been a home invasion gone terribly wrong. But at the end of the day, with a... Man, we are, I mean, safety first, but these mall truckers couldn't even pull that out. <laughs> I'm talking about how you gonna send somebody to set up? Well, I'll let y'all watch them. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Joining us, police are appealing for the public's help to solve a terrifying crime an attempted home invasion. Four people are suspected of trying to break into a home in Richmond last week, and the moments before and after the attempt were caught on camera. This security footage shows two suspects. They walk up to a home and knock on the door. Seconds later, the door opens and two other suspects run around the corner, one of them holding what appears to be a shotgun, the other a rifle. The person inside the home slams the door shut and the suspects take off. Police don't believe this was a random crime, but say the homeowner is cooperating with the investigation. Anyone who recognizes the suspects is asked to please call police. A violent homin. Did y'all hear that mind? It's a mind. <laughs> they say, uh, police don't believe this is a random crime. Really? As you can see, the, the white boy was setting shit up. He was knocked on the door. Yeah, not dug, no shit. We ain't got win, man. When they got when they ever gonna solve a crime. But let's keep going, man. That's <laughs> crazy. Damn man, damn man, damn man. I don't know what's going on, man. All right, I ain't understand that. He's what three guys? I thought it, they just showed mugs as of four people. Damn, it was seven people. Sometimes these folks don't make no damn sense. All right, y'all. Let me go get one more. Damn, this this motherfucking uh, this light, this light uh, this round light hot as a mother. And you turn on damn air <laughs> for that. Yeah. Um, what if it say? Oh, I told y'all I love y'all, right? Y'all already know that. True results. 
loves his family. All right, moving along. I got to give me another system, man, because this shit ain't working out. This shit is not working. Ooh. There you go. I just figured it out. <laughs> I don't know why the picture keep going over here. Damn. I just figured it out. Now I can see what I'm... Let me see. All right, this folks. Let me see. Suspect escapes from cop car when officer leaves. <laughs> let me see. I want to see. Ah, uh, criminals. You give them an inch and they escape. This is Michael Floyd. He has been arrested in Florida. Oh, he's naked. in the back of the car. Uh, Notice how he's looking around, right? Apparently, this was a really hot day in Florida, and Deputy Eric Reyes thought it might be too hot for the prisoner. So he parked in the shade and cracked the partition just enough to let some of the air conditioning go through, except he left the car to talk to some fellow officers. So he left the crack, and then he also left the car running so that the air conditioning was running. So the keys are in, and the car's running. Exactly. So here's Floyd. He opens the partition just enough to be able to get the top part of his body through the window, just enough to reach the button to roll down his window in the back. So you're, you were being serious when you said, give them an inch. Oh, no kidding. He jumps out of the window window makes his escape and squats down and look at the back window that left side you can oh. see him scooting away oh my goodness slowly what do you do when you come back to the oh man 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 boy 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 y'all tell me uh who by man let that man go free man <laughs> i mean police officers they want to be so smart and see yeah, bro. Bet she won't do that no more. <laughs> Dude got out of there. Oh, man. What this is? So this is all about a little girl in D.C., Washington, D.C. That got Alicia Rudd's disappearance. I put this in here for some reason, so hey, I ain't even never got back to it. Let's check it out together, y'all. And the black girl, too. What black girl, man? I don't know what's going on there, bro. Fix that. Let's see. Here she go. Why did you trust him? He didn't look like that type of person. He what? looked like a good person. The way he played with everybody, kids, the way he did his job, what? the way he needed to do his job, buffing them floors. He didn't look like an intimidated person. He really didn't. Uh-uh, I feel rewired this moment. Something is an idea. Hold on for a minute, y'all. You say she did what? She handed him over. General Hospital. Hold on, let me see something. Did what that what she say? Did she say Did she say she handed over her daughter to a stranger? Okay. I'll rewind it cause Man, yo, you most unfit mother. I don't know. Let me do me before I pass judgment. <laughs> Let me see if I get the whole story, man. One mistake, holy girl, gone. Damn, man. Can't even rewind and never knew. Sad, cold world out here. That's why I be showing y'all all this stuff, man. Hospital.
Tatum is watching this right now, what would you say to him? You can look at the camera. What would I say to you? I have a lot of questions to, to ask you, and I want you to answer them properly and give me the correct answers. Why did you trust him? He didn't look like that type of person. He looked like a good person. The way he played with everybody, kids, the way he did his job, when he needed to do his job, buffing them floors. He didn't look like an intimidated person. He really did. I know, I know damn well she didn't. I know damn well she didn't do this shit right. There was somebody she refused to file a missing persons report for her own daughter. Right now, before I go back and press play again, women, tell me something in the comment section. What? The hell is going on with that shit right there? She refused to file a missing persons report on her very own daughter. Somebody tell me why and how. And this is only what y'all think. I'm we gonna I'm gonna see what this playing. Let's go. When your daughter was missing for three weeks, did you say to yourself, "Where is she?" Is she with Tatum? Did you call the school? Did anything come to mind during that period of time? I wasn't under the impression that she that she was missing. I was under the impression that she was still at my sister's house where I left her and under the care of my mother. Some people would say, why didn't you call police if your daughter was missing? my other three kids. That's why I didn't call the police. Nurses familiar with the investigation say Child and Family Services knew of multiple problems with the 28-year-old mother's ability to care for her four young children as far back as 2007, including a lack of food in the home, insufficient shelter, medical neglect, inadequate supervision, and at least one report of the mother hitting one of her sons. Police chief said, quote, we cannot ignore the possibility that he may have killed her. That got my head messed up. But, um, I don't even know what to say on that. It's a lot of things scrambling in my head, but I am going to say the public cannot fault me at this. And I thought and I thought I could have trust in my mother and my sister. You know, it's things that the public don't know. For instance, one, my mother told me that this man told her that if anything happened to him and his wife, today or tomorrow, my daughter would be set. What does that mean? And tonight, something interesting to note, Shamika tells me that Relisha was in the care of Shamika's mother and sister at the time of her disappearance. Well, I called the mother and sister, and they say that's absolutely not true. Now, one thing seems to be clear. They all hope that Relisha Rudd is alive, and they want Tatum behind bars. Damn, 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 damn. Bring her back. Just bring her back. Just bring her back. 
like, safe. Just really, please, please, we just want to bring Relisha home. And Relisha, if you are watching this, we miss you and we love you. watching this right now, I would say, I love you, and come back home to your mother safely and unharmed, and I love you, and when you do me turn back, and if you do me turn back unharmed, you will never, ever go with anybody else, you will be next to my side at all times. Chief said, quote, we cannot... Watching this right now, what would you say? Ah, uh, my bad, yeah. I was trying to uh, go back and see. She said that she said baby girl was saying uh, with her mama, her mama and her sister. I was trying to see at what, at what, who turned him, turned her over to this that janitor. So, uh, Tatum won't say janitor. Okay. care okay so that's where i got it mixed up okay so but the day she went missing the day she went missing hold up well who had the little girl if her mama her mama and her sister say you're lying just say that you you gave your baby girl to this stranger this janitor If Khalil Tatum is watching this right now, what would you say to him? We can look at the camera. Answers. Why did you trust him? He didn't look like that type of person. He looked like a good person. The way he played with everybody, kids, the way he did his job, when he needed to do his job, buffing them floors. He didn't look like an intimidized person. He really didn't. Okay, that's what it is. So they were staying at a homeless shelter. And he was a janitor. I still ain't like understanding how she, how she, what she gave, what the means to take her home with him. Nah, something like this. I'm gonna have to do some. I'm gonna have to go Google that one. Matter of fact, let me put that in my phone. If I need some answers on that, that shit don't make no sense. Let me see. Release her. I'm gonna find out what happened to you, baby girl. I know y'all. Release your rug. Man, uh oh. Matter of fact, I don't want to go do that inside the YouTube site right now, because here now. I just I was just googling. They said her body was found. Let me see. Let me do an update right quick.
We begin tonight with new developments in the search for eight-year-old Melissa Rudd. Yeah, police in Washington say they found the body tonight in a park where they have been searching for this little girl, but it's not her. ABC 2 News' Christian Shaver live in the newsroom with the update tonight. Chris? Yeah, Jamie Kelly, that body found tonight in the park has been identified tentatively, according to D.C. police, as Khalil Tatum, the man suspected of killing his wife and kidnapping Relisha Rudd. Rudd is still missing tonight. After weeks of searching, a discovery in Kenilworth Park and Aquatic Gardens in Northeast Washington, all indications are that it is the body of 51-year-old Khalil Tatum, and police say it appears that he committed suicide. We have not confirmed what the cause of death is, although we will say that it looks like it likely uh, is a suicide. But it is a discovery that gets police no closer to finding eight-year-old Relisha Rudd, who disappeared from the homeless shelter where she had been living and where Tatum worked as a janitor. After police began searching for the girl, they found Khalil Tatum's wife dead in a motel room in Prince George's County. I still, I don't even know how to put it, the words to put it. I still believe that baby girl is alive. Police are maintaining that hope as well, but on Tuesday, hundreds of police and volunteers will be back at Kenilworth Gardens for what has already been described as a recovery operation. We have uh, volunteers who are gathering um, from multiple different uh, groups, from neighborhoods and organizations to help us continue that search. So the search will go on. Now, remember, police initially began searching that park after they found out Tatum had spent time there in early March after buying large industrial-sized trash bags. The police chief says that search is likely to continue at least a few more days. Live in the newsroom, Christian Shea for ABC2 News. All right, uh, uh, now, so I was, I was so hoping, baby girl, <clears throat> but, well, they ain't fine, they ain't fine out, little baby girl, man, but, uh, she, <clears throat> that's, uh, <clears throat> Lisi, 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 I ain't been found, so I don't know. She was eight years old, so whatever he did with her, she probably, I don't know what, I don't know. Sometimes eight year old ain't enough to, if you don't know where you at, you probably don't know how to get back home, but uh, I'm afraid for her, man. Let me see what this talking about. I'm on my phone, y'all. Y'all talk back. Talk in the comment section. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Everybody believe that she's still alive. Let's see. Okay, they talking about that picture. All right, all right. <clears throat> well, I don't, I don't know, man. See, every time I get to something like that, I would rather end this one and save some because I, I just Dame found her, so she's still missing. Um, I ain't even gonna even speak to other other possibilities into existence, man. Shit, I ain't even gonna speak down to existence. So, on that note, y'all, I'm gonna end this one. And, uh, damn, that shit fucked me up, man. That's our baby girl, man. And that shit sad. Yeah, man. But, you know, until next time, y'all, I'll probably go live soon. Just, uh, trying to stay away from the bullshit for a bit. Before I, <laughs> before I, uh, yeah, trying to stay away from niggas, man, <laughs> on this YouTube shit, because they got the gang fucked up. But uh, a wise man once told me, <laughs> that's how I found out he was dumb. A wise man once told me, if you can't beat him, join him. So that's the moment, as soon as he finished saying that, that I found out. I wasn't talking to no wise man. <laughs> so I walked the fuck away. So what I did when I found out I wasn't talking to no wise man, that's what I'm gonna do in the case of BHM. So on that note, y'all yeah, get the pitch. Until next time, everybody stay true, man. I love y'all, man. Appreciate everybody's support, man.
we gonna we trying to get to a podcast that's so we can y'all can be proud of us man I'm trying to gotta get the hell out of this youtube street man this shit ain't it ain't cracked up to be all it can be though but as we grow so shall i aim to get us and i want syndication yeah that is a goal everybody should have a goal support the channel true results man follow me on twitter at results true like i said i'm going on uh oh before i go somebody suggested that send me an email or maybe been in the comments that i should yeah i'm quite sure his name what's your name ty ty washington yeah he say bro go on, check out b go live you can uh you can make a money you can make some money over there on b go live doing what you do i'm like for real so i went to i ain't want for, I had to go Google it and find out what the hell it was, but I, I ain't want to type back and be like, bro, you know, you know, it ain't about the money to me, always, but I know money's needed once again, so don't have, don't think I have a desire to be rich, Ty, if you're listening, baby boy, I appreciate it. I went and checked it out, though. I pay money forward, though, let me say that, that's a little, yeah, I pay money forward, man. I, I actually use money. For good. I love elderly. I love like I just love helping people, you know, so obviously I'm not filthy rich. So that's why I be telling y'all to support. So if you think it's about cash happening, like I don't I hear how it's going on right now. I don't, that's not what I that's not what I use. <laughs> that's not what I do with money. And cash app still in in my phone, I just let Cash App just sit there until when I be out there in the community, it's ninety dollars. It's ninety dollars. Uh sitting at the bottom of that Cash App right there. I don't know if I can see that, but Yep, that's what I do. I just wait till I need to uh use it to help somebody, man. So Yeah, B Go Live. Now I'm on B Go Live where I signed up for B Go Live. But I wanted to, they, they gave me the opportunity, well, they gave me a choice, not an opportunity. Take my opportunity to be a, uh, you can be a host. And they just, y'all, y'all, anybody know, I don't know. I'm, I just signed up for the shit, checked it out. But y'all go over there. And so I have some, I have y'all over there too. And so I learned it, cause I know y'all, y'all be able to help. Yeah, matter of fact, that's exactly what I need y'all to do. So, Instead of me acting like waiting on me to read, let me give you the same name that we got as a family over here. We got over there at Beagle Lab. Instead, we got a hashtag in it. But just type in True Results. It's like here. And y'all come over there and help me learn this shit too. Because you never know, man. <laughs> I just know as long as we roll together, we're going to be all right. So on that note, man, true. Everybody stay safe and stay good. And don't, forget, don't forget George Floyd trial coming up. Love y'all once again. Anybody ever need anything, y'all know how to reach me. Y'all know I respond right back. So don't think like we strangers. And that's for anybody that's new. Just, yep, give it a try. And I salute everybody. True. What's up, what's up, what's going on? Troopers, troopers, and troopettes. It's, uh, it's about 1.30 a.m. over here. I just thought I'd come online. Well, it was going to take me a couple of days off, and then I didn't. So, let y'all know I'm checking on y'all. Make sure everything Gucci, copacetic. Yep, yeah, so we got the George Floyd trial. Mm, 12 days is when we going to see. Can, can America repair itself? This trial is very important, as you all know. Once it happened, once it happened too many times, it's time to do something different. So, I'm quite sure the whole world is gonna be watching the outcome, waiting for the outcome. And once again, let me reiterate: they tried to do some damage control, some PR, if you will, when they tried to hire 
when they try when they try to hire six social media bloggers or six social media personalities to pay them two thousand dollars a piece to cover. Nah, they was trying to pay them to move the narrative and shit, control the narrative. Uh, Cause you know it's a tense a tense situation, so that shit didn't work. So, and then, well, I guess the only thing else they can do is just board shit up, put more cops on the street. Uh, we already know the news media gonna be there worldwide, so y'all pay attention and uh, watch your surroundings, cause. Uh, if that verdict come back wrong, it's on, <laughs> so to speak. But for for y'all, if it does come back not guilty, ain't no sense of us uh, tearing up shit, right? Yeah, it's not the that is not gonna change anything. The only thing we can do is just learn and do better and start uniting. The only, thing that's ever, the only thing that's ever going to change is we'll never be able to control whether it happen again or whether it don't. The only thing we can do is start unite, uniting as a people and stop trying to destroy. That's why we ain't going to never. But all these people that have died, Martin Luther King and on, Malcolm X, everything. So... I mean, it's all it's all about do we want to be a force to be reckoned with, or are we gonna keep going at each other? And uh, it's in every aspect of life. I mean, this competition going on at work. I mean, black you got a black supervisor at work. They think they hot shit. <laughs> I remember <laughs> when I I remember the the feeling of being trained by one of your own. You did what I'm saying? You come in the door not knowing shit. That's the purpose of them training you, right? Now, they, they want you to learn, but they want you to learn expeditiously, real fast. Shout out to T.I. for that word. <laughs> he ain't creating the motherfucker, but the nigga so <laughs> intellectual, ain't he? Yeah. So, and then you got the the people that was already there. Everybody forget that they they used to be the person coming in the door, the new employee, right? Man, I don't know why y'all tell me why everybody looking at you and, and refuse to, to pitch in to help you learn how to do this damn job instead of sitting on the sideline waiting on you to fall, looking at you, trying to make jokes and shit. Nigga, we trying to learn the motherfucking job. But if it's a, a job full of black people, it ain't gonna go how it's supposed to go. Nobody riding around now. This shit happened on the job. So I just said this shit just to give y'all an example of what how separate we are. So, yeah, so you'll know that shit. And then, uh, let me tell y'all once again about this social media. Now, let me tell y'all once again about this YouTube shit. Y'all ain't got to worry about me. I spoke my piece. Yep, I told y'all I was a human. I get pissed off. And that's what humans do. Yep, my, yep, you feel, you feel some type of way about shit sometimes, so you go on a little rant like I did. I mean, I've been, I mean, I was really mad, though. If everybody know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so anybody want to see that video, uh, just ask for it. You know, when old boy pissed me off, I still got it. I just turned it into private so the rest of the family wouldn't have to see that anger side of me. I only get that way when I can't talk to somebody, but they talking shit. So... I still got it. It's just set to private. You can request it and I will send it to you. Still uploading on YouTube. Let y'all know. I ain't getting I still ain't heard from no damn YouTube. I ain't worrying about this shit. Uh, 
<laughs> you have no case. And uh, let me see. Okay, so let me get the trial state. The trial starts on the 29th. Uh, other than that, the same old corruption and shit going on state to state. We about to have some damn thunderstorms again. I know we about to have some thunderstorms in Memphis tomorrow. They talking about go go sleep in the bathtub and shit. I'm like, where's all this strange ass weather coming from? All I mean, damn, we just said damn near had a blizzard. Now, and everybody know there's some abnormal shit going on with this weather and shit. I mean, goddamn scientists. All the damn scientists of the world. Y'all need to stop releasing the cracking on a nigga ass. I mean, do some shit and stop selling shit that you do. Science is supposed to have a heart. And, uh, but it's big business. Seems like they put them in all the top minds of a, of the world. Put them in a, in a cave some damn world. And let them just experiment. But some of that shit be getting out. And then that's what be the way fucking up the world. And uh, other than that, how's everybody doing again, man? I be missing the shit out y'all. Uh, let me see. Somebody told me. Oh, shout out. Shout. Shots out to all of y'all. Y'all support the shit out of our family. So I take my hands off to y'all, man. Y'all be showing love back in a real kind of way. I know sometimes I disappoint, not not too many times, thank God. I be disappointing y'all and shit. Be like, true, god damn. Didn't I just tell you not to do this shit? I be like, yep, <laughs> you surely did. I mean, I don't think I can do it to you. I apologize to you, but I mean, at the end of the day, a man going to have to do what a man have to do. I would uh, accept any one of y'all's apologies, just just like you should. <laughs> y'all should accept mine. So it ain't that serious with us, though. So let me see what the fuck. What the shit? What some funny shit happened? I might have been dreaming. Sometimes I be waking up <laughs> and I'm like, damn, did this shit really happen? It just be a damn dream, but I forgot. The first thing about dreams, you be forgetting this shit. But, uh, uh, unlike somebody else, I know we think stimulus money. Don't listen to nobody. Do what you want to do with the money. I mean, for all the hardworking people, shit, they owe us more money. They owe everybody that's work hard. Just like, Tax money is not no gift. They make money. They make interest out of your money. So they need to drop their shit off. Stop acting like they giving free handouts and shit. Nigga, where the rest of our money at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, I was just coming in here to take out state fuckers and get ready for this trial. And then I now, on that note, I'm finna go clean out my damn closet. <laughs> I'm gonna clean out my closet over here and some of these damn uh I don't know, funny some when I do shit like this late night, man, I just be like uh mixing it up and shit like that. I be mixing up stuff, you know, cause I mean YouTube getting kinda boring and whack, you know what I'm talking about as far as can't keep talking about the science shit if, if ain't nothing else new happen. But it's always something new happening. But, you know, still got to mix it up at the same time. So, you know, let Mo3 rest in peace right now. There's enough people covering that. But, shit, just like, <laughs> just like I say, uh, I'm going to let y'all watch the video. I ain't going to say nothing else. Man, I be having true intention, but uh, my mouth I always, <laughs> I always interrupt. So, on that note, man, I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all know, for anybody that don't know, I'm on Twitter, uh, True Results, at True Results. Now, at Results True Backwards. Yeah, at Results True. So, y'all check that out. Go follow me on Bego Live if, if it work out. It's going to work out on that, on the other tip before me going live and shit. But they telling me 
it's a nice little piece of money that you can do for doing shit. But if y'all know me, I don't really too concerned about the money though. But might as well use all social media because you never know when you get, you never know when you, I mean, people you can reach that ain't on YouTube, Instagram, and all that, Twitter. But uh, I just came in to show my face, y'all. It ain't nothing. Let remind y'all to stay focused. Watch your back everywhere you go. And I think that's what I'm afraid to do. I'm afraid to go look at some, uh, I'm to look at all kind of damn videos I got in my eye. Once again, it's watch later time. You might watch later list on YouTube. So we figure I'll check that out. I see y'all. Well, I ain't gonna see y'all because hey, I gotta put that in the editing room. So I guess when I disappear, I reappear. Hey, until then, everybody stay true.